Okay, we're back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm going to go ahead and start suctioning out some of the uh, tartar and stain remover that I used earlier. Um, we were able to uh, use a driver. It looks like this type of screw head is a... Um, can I ask for a, a, a next size up from this? Um, okay, they're in the... Um, the buffer and my drawer. Um, we were able to use um, a driver. Now that we've got several things to use here, one of which um, is a Nobel driver, but it is a hex. And if I am looking with my scope, I see more of a configuration of a square. So it, it and and the screw. The, the base of the screw head looks like there's some kind of a, a welded portion, but it looks like it's in the shape of a screw. Uh, excuse me, a shape of a of a hex. Actually, a square. Um, so there we go. No, yeah, this is fine. We'll try them out. Okay, so let me just change tips. Yeah, so it looks like a square head screw. I'm going to come in with a little larger suction, see if it did move it. going to use an explorer again from the endodontist. Let's see if we got any movement. Yep, we do. We've got the screw moving. So good news. At least for now it's good news until we can get the screw out, but it is moving. Um again, do you feel anything at all? No. Okay. So I gain a little more access, a little more up the side of the incisal edge, and I was able to get in there. I'm going to pre-soak again because uh, it's too easy to have an issue. So I'm going to put a little more of that solution in there, and just like that. Let it penetrate. It's kind of like on the outside industrial world penetrating oil, but this is tartar and stain. I'll suction that out. go a little better vacuum there we go okay I think it's time to get the screw out so we're gonna go in there again I'll lower the the uh, magnification and we're gonna go in and kind of make sure this bottoms out before you start turning all right you okay? So we're unscrewing now. Gently. Now the screw's starting to come up. Now it probably won't come out. The screw probably won't be able to come out. So it's going to reach a, a limit of headroom in here. Once it does that, we've got to undo the bonding. That's the other problem. If the screw head can't come straight out um, so that it comes away from the abutment and the uh, fixture, see right there, that's the limit. That means the screw head is, uh, we're hoping that it, it that all the threads are now undone and, and once I remove the bonding it all comes off. If not, I've got to rebond this again and i got to take part of the head of the screw off or make it come up a little bit more. So it gets a little complicated now, but the good news is we have a screw that is not coming out. It's being retrieved, and that's good news. That's what wasn't been able to done. So I'm going to stop here. I'll come back on the next clip after I remove all this bonding. The bonding looks like this. 
it's just regular. We picked, I think, A2 Charisma, and we just put it all the way around her tooth now. She's very happy, satisfied with that, but we know that's not a long-term solution. So I'll put the bonding. I'll do that gently, and then uh, hopefully uh, we'll, uh, we'll be able to retrieve that screw, put a new one in there for her, and finish up today's job. All right, next